And this is where I put it. Ooh, SRAM Charge RGX. If I had one. Don't miss out like Mr. Turner. Pre-order the newest singles from Unbroken Bonds on FullGripGames.com now. Free shipping on orders over $100. What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Brady Botner. Hello. We are going to be showing off some Unbroken Bonds decks for you all today. Well, I've got a Picarom deck with a Dedenne in it. And a couple other cards. I also have Electromagnetic Radar as well as a Fidget Spinner in here. Okay, so these three cards I've decided to add to my Pika Pads list to see what kind of fire we can draw. The Dedenne GX, an amazing new addition to lots of decks from Unbroken Bond, so I'm excited to see how it works. The Electromagnetic Radar, amazing as well. Brady has got a much more Unbroken Bonds oriented deck over there. Tell us what you got there, Brady. I got Blacephalon, I got Green Search to help find all your combo pieces. This is the main piece, Welder, lets you accelerate fire energy and draw cards. And another new card, Fire Crystal or Flame Crystal, it uh, lets you recover fire energy to your hand, and then you got Fiery Flint to get the fire energy from your deck. Busted combos. Yep. <laughs> All right. So you're going to try and get a bunch of energies onto your Blacephalons with the Welders, and then blow up my Picaroms. Yep. You really should only have to take two or three knockouts to win the game. Right. I'm going to have to take six. Yes. Right? <laughs> are there any GX Pokemon in that deck? There are not. There are okay. only five Pokemon total, and four of them are Blacephalons. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. The stakes are pretty high here. I'm excited to see how these new additions from, I would say my new additions from Unbroken Bonds and your new Unbroken Bonds deck function here. So let's go ahead and get started. Brady, would you like heads or tails? Uh, heads. All right, so you're gonna be going first. Uh, first. Yes, and uh, I will be tapping the entire game here. I think, uh, trust each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so I too have a mulligan. Yeah. I'm expecting mm. a few of these with only five Pokemon. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is true. Now, I drew a couple test stands. This is actually going to be our first game. Right. There was no sort of pre-game before this. Right. <laughs> though I considered a pre-game just to see, you know, see how the decks do. We're giving you guys the raw, uncut yeah, deal here. This is our uh, first attempts. I did draw a couple of hands, though, with the new Dedenne. Seemed busted. Four, five, six, and seven. All right. I definitely liked what the uh, what the card was bringing to the deck, just allowing for some more explosive draws. Still, with two let loose in the deck, can definitely create some wild turn one scenarios. All right, Brady. Best of luck to you. Good luck. All right. And wow, five Pokemon in deck. Started three. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty insane. All right. So. So I have a welder, so I'm gonna play the fiery flint and just look to get as much energy in my hand to accelerate with the welder as possible. That's insane. Now Brady and I have had some discourse back and forth about this deck. <laughs> I, I was like, I don't think the Placephalon is viable because it costs three energy in order to attack. Brady's like, bro, you just, yeah, you you just weld the welder, right? <laughs> and I was like, well, you need to get three energy on him and you need like four energy in hand. And he's like, yeah, bro, you just fiery flint. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, that's going to be like a lot to put together. Brady has shown us not really that much, right? right. Well, attach for turn. Sure. And then uh, water. Yep. Attach two. Sick. And then draw three cards. Busted. I mean, what more do you want? So what does the draw engine in this deck actually look like? Um, so you got four water, four green search, and that's it. That's it? Yep. Do you play like judge whistles or? Nope. No judge whistle, no acrobatic, nothing like that. How do you get the supporters? Uh, you have um, Poke Gear. Poke Gear. So, yeah, all right. So you play four Poke Gear. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, because you just want to play uh, Water every turn, basically, oh, okay, <laughs> except for like Beast String turns. You can got Beast String instead. Very cool. Um, and I'm gonna pass. All right. So the stakes are high here for me. I've got a three energy Blacephalon, kind of staring me down, but I've got a pretty good hand. Not gonna lie. And the electromagnetic radar is looking pretty spicy in this hand for sure. We're gonna start off with an order pad and just see how we do on that. Busted card, so got ahead. See what we want here off of that. I also wanna see if maybe I have my Tapu Koko Prism Star in the deck. I do. I ended up cutting the Rayquaza, okay? So it's a little bit sketchy. I don't love the idea of cutting the Rayquaza from the deck. I think I'm gonna get 
energy switch, and then this gets two lightning Pokemon EX or GX. So the energy switch is what we are getting there, and then I think I go in and electromagnetic radar, we're gonna get ourselves probably, hmm, okay. Uh, we definitely want a Zero Aura GX, and then probably just the Dedenne GX is who you end up getting most of the time here. But I'm feeling like maybe that energy switch was not correct. Okay, so with this hand, it needs to not be energy switch, it needs to be Nest Ball. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna undo that <laughs> because I'm not used to playing with this yet. So we actually just need to go get ourselves the Tapu Koko Prism Star. So we're gonna do that with the Nest Ball. So let's pretend chat, not chat, but viewers, <laughs> that I got the Nest Ball with my with my thing. Yeah, 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 that's that's good. Yeah, get a Nest Ball with that order badge, sure. Yeah, it's all good. It's a casual game here. <laughs> and then I got the Dedenne and the Zeraora with my electromagnetic radar. So we've got the Picaram, we've got this Thunder Mountain, and I just, uh, Dedede change, yeah, we're just gonna let it rip and draw six cards here. Two, three, four, five, and six. So that is looking very promising here. We've got an energy there. Dance of the Ancients, gonna be able to accelerate these two energy into play. Then we've also got the energy switch off of that. Uh, all your Pokemon have a low amount of hit points, so I don't feel bad doing that. Electro Power, Zero Aura, uh, and then we got Lily for seven. Yeah, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, yeah. And then, uh, yep, that's gonna be eight cards in hand. Feeling pretty good. How many cards are in your hand there, Brady? I have five cards in my hand. Five cards in the hand, okay. So I think I... Am I worried that you are going to blow me up this next turn? Valid question, I think, but I kind of want to just... Yeah, is it is it greedy of me to want to full blitz and accelerate all of my energy to myself? Not exactly sure here, but we're probably just going to go for it. If I end up getting burned with this, uh, so be it. So we'll full blitz here sure. for the knockouts, and we're going to accelerate three lightning energy on to the active Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX, okay? So if you got it like that, what does he do? Um, discard any amount of fire energy from your Pokemon that's active as 50 damage, okay. Yeah. Fine, all right. Yeah. I think that's signaling that it doesn't have it like that. Yeah, yeah. All <laughs> right. You're correct. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, because the Turtonator, you know, interesting attacker, but. Yeah, the Turtonator's in here because the stall decks that have been doing well in Japan are the metal ones that play the Bronzong that makes it so fire attackers can't damage it. Oh. So you need a non-fire attacker to get around that. And it's cool, because he's Dragon-type, right. he attacks he with fire, fire energy. energy. Yep. yep. And three, which is like a good number with water. Exactly. Okay, so... I will take my cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bump that. Oh, okay. Then I'll start out by using Energy Retrieval. Sure. It's like Fire Crystal, but a little worse. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> get two back. Uh-huh. And use Heat Factor. Sure. Now, what's your three. split on Fire Crystals and Energy Retrievals? I have four fire crystals, three retrievals. Wow, so a lot of bringing the energy back from the right. discard pile. So uh, I didn't have water in my hand, which is what I was looking for with the heat factory. So we'll play that. Okay. And you play no uh, ability Pokemon in the deck. Correct. Yeah, it's so just this guy and this guy. So green search will always just go get you what, two trainer cards? Two trainer cards. It's excellent. Yep. Just go <laughs> get the welders. <laughs> right. Uh huh. And then, uh, you know, work on doing that thing the next turn. Unfortunately, you are going to need another Pokemon. I am, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you can get a Nest Ball. Right. So I will, yeah, get Nest Ball and water. Yeah. And then play the Nest Ball. Yep. To get another Blissephalon. Sure. And the water goes to my hand. And let's see, let's check out the hand real quick. All right, just going to attach to the bench. So. Yeah, I mean, might as well. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I'm sure that's the one that's going to go down. But. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, that thing has a 0% chance right. survival rate. Yep. yep. It's all good. Okay. And yep. then I'm going to uh, pass. All righty then. We've got some options here, folks. I think I am going to end up uh, ultra balling away two electro powers. I just don't really see myself needing them. Uh, throughout the course of this game. And I'm going to get myself a Let Loose Marshadow because I know his hand's got a 
you know, that thing in there that I don't want. <laughs> the welder, yeah, so I'll attach for a turn. We're going to put the choice band onto the Picaram as well just to thin it out the deck. And the Guzma off the Blacephalon with the energy, yep. promoting my Tapu Lele with the energy. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to let them loose. Sure. So we both shuffle draw four. So this is a very, yeah, very messy board, but you guys get the idea. We've got, you know, the big man here with all the energy <laughs> on him. And that's the thing. With Dedenny GX, even in my test hands, noticed uh, we're getting a lot more turn one Pico Roms. It's uh, been pretty nuts, which is uh, good yeah. if you like Pico Rom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I do. And you can probably just play this deck all the way to Worlds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, draw four cards each. I have already Guzman, I've already attached for turn, so I will be promoting my Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX with the now six energy and go for my Tag Bolt GX. I'm going to take out both the Cephalons for sure, taking two prizes, and we'll see if you can uh, respond to what we got. Yeah. Um, probably not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see what we're going to go for. It. Yeah. All right. I did not check to see if the third one was in here earlier, so I'm going to do that now. <laughs> I assume you play some rescue stretchers. I do play rescue stretchers, and in fact, the uh, third one's not in here. Oh, so. <laughs> that is uh, a little bit. Or rough. the fourth one, I mean. The fourth one is in the prizes. Correct. So, so yeah, it's got to be a fail because there's no, <laughs> no base Pokemon left in the deck. Yikes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to energy retrieval. Yep. Looks like it's up to you, Turnator. <laughs> <laughs> it just might be. <laughs> <laughs> well, Heat Factory first. Sure. Okay. And. Alright, so we will play Wilder. Yep. Attaching. No, 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 we won't, no, we won't. We'll, okay. we'll play it intelligently. <laughs> we'll go green search. Oh, okay. And get the rescue stretchers. Oh, very good. Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. Probably manually attach yeah, to yeah. Yeah, somebody and then maybe weld her next turn. Right. <laughs> my grab. So you're probably looking for like a fiery flint and a rescue stretcher, right? I think an E string and a rescue stretcher. Oh, that'll do. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. So we will play the rescue stretcher. Yep. Get that man back. The B string. I didn't even consider B string. How many B-string in this deck? There are three. Sick. Yep. All right. So I'll go B-string to him. Sure. And I still haven't attached. So I will attach East Energy there. You got to switch to that hand, Brady? I don't. That's going to be a yikes for me, dog. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, got to go for it. You have to attach. I mean, you have to go for it. I just right, think right. it's probably game because I got Guzma, so. Yeah. Uh, maybe should... Probably attach to the Turtonator just to like be diversify safe. a little right, bit. Right, right. I think yeah. that's fair. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, okay. yeah. That well, way you got the pass. welder. Right. Draw. All right. So I am gonna start charging up somebody else. So we've got this here. I'm gonna order pad sure. and see if uh, we can hit it. We can't. It's all good. Uh, I am just down to probably. Guzma, the Blacephalon, yep. yeah, and then we're going to retreat for free with the Zero Aura here, and just full blitz yep. for knockouts, we're going to be seeing if there's any lightning energy left in the deck, there actually are two, so I don't mind that, that is cool. Now, without the Rayquaza in deck, I do need to be a little bit more careful with my energy, because once they're gone, they are just gone, I, unless I... Full voltage GX, which we are not doing this game. Uh, we have already tag bolted, so. All right. Three. Okay. Let's see how many energy are in here. So I have a fiery flint, so I'm checking to see how much energy is in here just to like make sure I can go get four with it. Right. And let's see. So I played 14 basic fire and then the one beast. Yeah. So we got five down. So. Should be nine. One in play. Eight. One in my hand. So. Yeah, there's probably plenty enough to make this happen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Now, how do you feel about the discarding cards, like with the Fiery Flint? Does it feel like you have to pair your hand down too much? Um, I think it seems fine because, like, I mean, like, these are obviously not ideal discards, but uh, when you have Fire Energy in your hand, you can, like, get rid of Fire Energy, and then you have plenty of cards to recover that. Right. So, like, the, the ideal thing you want to do is get rid of two Fire because you can just get them back. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. 
So you're getting four fire to the hand. I know you're going to welder a couple of those into play. Can the Turtonator actually knock out a Picaron? Um, not this turn, for sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, um, Yeah, because yeah, B-String's not a thing right now. So nope. I will use Heat Factory. Yep. Two, three. Theoretically, you could whip up a Placephalon, I guess. Yeah, but uh, not now. <laughs> that, that ain't happening. Gonna to you. attach yeah. here. Yeah. And then draw three. Yeah. Welder is pretty good. I mean, it it's doing what it's set out to do. Right. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll explosive draw for 150. And All right, that's game, right? Yeah. Game. All right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's run it back one sure. more time. Brady, you get to go first this time. Okay. And uh, we'll see how it goes. For sure. See if we can get a little bit. I think I think this deck just ran very hot in that game. Yeah. It did. <laughs> really can't prep for that. Turn one full blitz can yeah, can really mess with just about anything. So Guzma let loose. Tough. Yeah, very good. Yeah. 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 I think the one of the main issues this deck will have is like doing it with let loose. Because there's not a whole lot of like consistency options. It's really just about hitting like your few pieces and you have to find a way to hit those few pieces. Right. Now, granted, I mean, you did only have to take a couple of knockouts. If it yeah. ever, if you ever get all the pieces together, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm going down right. for sure. It's just, uh, it's my job to try and disrupt that, right. be as aggressive as possible, take big knockouts, and then bully you with let loose and hope <laughs> that you just can't really draw out of it, right? right? The strategy with Pika Rum hasn't changed much. Yeah. No. <laughs> you just have more options. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dedenne. Now the Dedenne is just like, oh, I missed something? Wait, maybe I didn't. <laughs> yeah. And that feels pretty good. So I'm definitely digging the Dedenne engine here. That felt great. I'm not sure about the Fidget Spinner. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And I guess it's, it was a one of in the deck. It felt like I could just order pad for it. So that doesn't really feel too bad. And a lot of times, you just want energy in the deck and you have trouble finding it on the first turn of the game. Right. So it can turn some games where maybe you were dry energy into games where you just get the turn one full blitz, so. Yeah, I think, uh, especially with order pet in the deck, it's good to, because like, like you said, turn one, you want the energy, and if you have like an energyless hand, you can ultra ball the energy away and have it later for Tapu Koko. Right, for sure, for sure. So, let's see how it runs here. Game two, you can go first, sir. Three, four, five, six, and seven. I've got a, yeah, nothing, ain't nothing yep. in that hand. Yeah, <laughs> no. Brady probably going to be mulliganing more often, say, right? Yeah, yeah probably. Five, yeah. five Pokemon. Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> For sure. So if you guys are interested in picking up any cards from this set, Welders, Blacephalons, Dedenne GXs, we've got them all for pre-order on FullGripGames.com, so make sure to check that out. Sean and I worked very hard to get those up, so we're very excited about the pre-order singles we have, the selection, so make sure to check that out, fullgripgames.com, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so much more tame looking hand, I think, here, but uh, we shall see. I think we're probably going here, and then I don't think you actually play any hand disruption cards in that deck, so. You are correct. I'm gonna say <laughs> that uh, I don't actually need to bench anything right. else, yep. Sure, we'll uh, see okay. how the hand buffs out here. Get an S ball. Sure. Now, do you see yourself ever actually using that first attack on the Blacephalon? Um, uh, hopefully not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's uh, Blazer. Flip one of your face down prize cards face up. If that card is a fire energy, this attack does 50 more damage. It stays face up. So not bad. You can poke something, soften it up a little bit. Do you play choice bands in the deck? I do not play choice band. I figure you have basically unlimited damage. It's kind of like stuff on GX, how they went away from playing choice bands. Right. I feel like you can do the same thing here. Just get another energy in play. Right. Yeah. Oh, actually, I am going to go back in. Sure. I will play Green Search. Okay. And what are you thinking you're looking for here off Green Search? Uh, I want to get a Nest Paw. I just want to have three Pokemon in play. And then I'll also get... Um, I have... Probably a Welder. Okay. Yeah, we did see last game, uh, the Pokemon became an issue, yes, right, yeah. with the Tag Bolt, the quick Tag Bolt, so. And then I'll play the Nest Ball. Yep. Green Search is proven to be really strong here, just to go ahead and get yourself Welder. And another cool thing, you can actually get uh, your Heat Factory right. off yeah, Green Search, super which cool. is super cool. Definitely love that. Yep. And you get very explosive turns with 
heat factory combined with welder draw six right. it's like insane for sure for sure and i'm just gonna attach to the active sure and then pass all right now my uh i don't know my hand's not looking quite as fuego as the last <laughs> one all right so hate to say it all right we're gonna go electro power sure. i'm gonna attach here i think i am going to i hate to do this Bench my Lele for no effect. Yeah, we're gonna have Wonder Tag. Just don't take a look at the deck real quick and see what's in here. But I want to get as explosive as a draw as I can. We see that the Tapu Koko Prism Star is in the deck. It's pretty much all I want to see. I also want to see if the Dedenne GX is in the deck. That's important. Yup, check. And then I also want to see if my Electromagnetic thingy. Yup, check. All right. And my Fidget Spinner is my Fidget Spinner in the deck. These are all things that I may go for on turn one. You never know. There, my fidget spinner's in the deck too. Sick. So we're gonna go ahead, shuffle up. Yeah, fail that. I've already got the lily in my hand. Not worth going for a Cynthia or anything like that. And we'll see if we can make it work. Electro powered once. I also have the multi switch in my hand. So if I can find electro power and Zara Aura, just a two card combo, then I'll be able to knock out this Placephalon with Zapdos. So I don't mind that either. Right. You need two electro powers. Just one more. So oh, one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So yep. if I can find one more, then right. uh, we're going to be Gucci Town. All right. We have got uh, Lily here for a draw of six. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sometimes you fall flat on your face. That's okay. We've got a couple of things here. I think I'm going to put the choice band just anywhere because it doesn't matter. We'll put Viridian into play, which I think helps Brady, but don't mind. We're going to uh, Viridian. I don't know why I'm searching, because I'm going back into the deck with Youngster Let Loose. All right, so I'm going to let it ride here and see how we do. You can see that my bench is getting very jammed here, though, quickly, which is a problem. It's one of the main reasons I decided to cut the Rayquaza GX from the deck is because I thought they're just honestly with Dedenne, there is no more bench space for that thing. And with the Dedenne GX in the deck, you have more outs to go find the like Thunder Mountain Prism Star that you need. Uh, Brady, I promise, man, no hacks, bro. No <laughs> hacks. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know how it happens. All right. Um, let's see here. We're close. Um, we're close. Let's see. I think. Do we just do that? Oh no, because I'm I'm short, so I kind of have to do. Um. I could explode. I can't put down Zara Aura and Denny this turn. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. So I think I kind of have to retreat into like a let loose or something like that and just kind of let this uh, let this turn take its natural progression. I've got Electromagnetic Radar, the Energy Switch, Nest Ball, and Zara Aura. Very close to having the combination here. I can, the problem is I can't bench the Zara Aura and the, uh, and the Dedenne because I could go for it if I could, but I cannot. So I'm just going to end up benching the Zara Aura here and just going to retreat into probably my let loose and say, uh, all right, have at it. You got it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so not a whole lot going on here after that. So I'm going to use the Viridian. Yeah. So I have the Poke Gear in my hand. So that's like my one hope. Yeah. I need to play that and find a welder. So I'm just going to thin the deck of fire energy. There's 14 in there. So if I can get as many out as possible, it gives my welder better odds. Yeah. So. Fiery Flints. Yep. I think I needed to not bench my second Picaram here, just knowing, or not bench the Lele. It was probably greedy of me. I just wanted a really explosive turn one, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted it. I think I might have gotten a little bit carried away here. And now I'm paying the consequences. You can see this is why I've also decided to cut like all the other, like Jolteon and all that from the deck, because the bench just gets jammed way too quickly in my opinion, and I don't want other Pokemon floating around. All right, so I'm going to play Pokegear. And what are you looking for here? Welder. Yes. Would be good. All right, well, we got that. So Green search. It's a close second. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we will play it. Yep. 
and I will. I will definitely grab a welder. Sure. Yeah. And then I will also grab heat factory, I think. Yeah. Okay. And yep. So that's what I'll grab. Just wanna draw cards. My hands all fire energy now, plus the welder. And so I yeah. give it some, but like that's not doing anything for me this turn or next turn. Right. So, so at this point we'll, you're gonna count on a right. stadium yep. for sure. Heat yeah. Heat factory down. And then I'll use it. Yep. Draw three. I will. I'm going to attach to the bench. Just spread my energy out because I can't yeah. do the second attack anyway this turn. So yeah. we will blazer. Aha! See if you get the knockout. He does not. No. All right. So ten damage. Yep. But uh, now I know where that guy is. So that's exactly. Cool. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Now, unfortunately, I am just critically stuck. So I'm just going to have to pass. I literally have nothing. I could energy switch, I could go get Pokemon, but I can't do anything until my bench gets freed up. So I think I kind of backed myself into a hole here, giving you way too much time right. to, uh, to play. Uh, to be honest, I kind of need you to knock out the Marshadow. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. So I think what I'm going to do is Goose. Uh, you can't, though. No, I can't, yeah. yeah. But I think I'm going to welder to a benched guy Yeah. and then try to try this attack again because yeah. now I can actually knock him out yeah. if I find that. Well, I guess it could have before, right? Or, no, it's 50 more damage. So it couldn't have before, now it can't. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Well, first I'm gonna heat factory. Yeah. Right. One, two, three. Okay. And now I'll welder. Sure. To this guy. Yep. Yikes! Feels bad, man. And then drop three from the welder. Yep. Okay. And then. So I've already heat factored, I already supported. So I'm just gonna blazer again. See if you get him. Yep. And it is not a fire. Oh, Brady. So it's another time. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Nothing. All right, Brady. It's gonna be another fat pass for me, dog. All right. I've got a pretty gas hand, but I can't do anything until you bench somebody else or until <laughs> you take out a prize. So I so have. I have this like bad feeling in my gut that a peek around is going down this yeah, turn. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the plan here. <laughs> So I'm going to use Heat Factory again. Yeah. Draw three more cards. So like you see with like Heat Factory, the fact that you're not really playing a lot of supporters, as long as that can stick, like you're good. Oh right. yeah, for so, sure. You're driving. You're drawing everything you right. want. Yeah. So we're gonna get three back. Fire crystal. Yeah. And then I will energy retrieval. Holy get the other moly. Two back. Yeah. How many fire in that hand now, Brady? Uh, there are five. Oh my goodness. Yes. That is insane. Yep, and we will Guzma up the Picron with the energy on it. Yep, naturally. Yep. Seems pretty good. Yeah, so I have exactly five, so I can't attach for a turn, which is kind of unfortunate. But right. Yeah, I'm taking three prizes, so I can yeah, solve <laughs> yeah. probably So fine. Flame Ball Circus, discard yep. five. Yikes. I'll take. All right, guys. This is bad. I really jammed my bench up here, kind of messed things up for myself. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to come back from it. Um, yeah, you got three prizes remaining. Right. All right, so let's see what we can do here. I do have two lightning in the discard pile now, that's good. Uh, I think I kinda need to go in with like a Zapdos or something this turn, so we'll promote the Marshadow and draw. Uh, first of all, I'm going to play the Tapu Koko and Dance of the Ancients. This is something that I needed to be able to do a long time ago. Couldn't do because my bench was jammed. So unfortunately, it's just where we ended up. Can do that. And then I can also, uh, we're probably just going to go for the Dedenne GX here with my electromagnetic radar thing. So we're going to do that. I'm wondering if Order Pad can get me a card that potentially I need. Uh, I think I could knock it out with Zapdos, which could be a pretty good option for me. That or I'm going to energy switch and then go for lightning energy switch off of the uh, Dedenne, which is not bad either. So I could full blitz for knockout, but he's got a giganto hand right now. So I think I want to go in with Zapdos this turn. So we're thinking here that I am just going to order pad and see if we can hit, uh, we'll do that, see if we can hit like a, maybe a electro power or something like that. And I'm gonna go for the double electro power. So I'm just gonna play electro power here. And then I'm also going to use my 
uh, yeah, my thing here. So we're going to electromagnetic radar, my go get to Dene machine. <laughs> sure. And uh, we're actually not really terribly interested in grabbing anybody else. Though, yeah, I'll probably will get Tapu Koko GX just to, or the, uh, I guess the other peek around. I probably don't need him at this point. Probably get that. And we're just going to thin the deck by discarding the other Picaram. We're just going for Lightning and another Electro Power this turn. Try and knock out this Blacephalon with my Zapdos. Excellent, and we will Dedene change, Dede change. Discarding these, draw six, two, three, four, five, six. So don't have it quite yet, unfortunately. I will be able to Ultra Ball away these cards though, and I'm gonna fail, and then Cynthia to see if we can't find the cards we need off of Cynthia. So just thinning the deck a little bit. Saw another energy switch, which is good, but not what, not the route we are taking. I think Freddy's hand just feels a little bit too big for me to attack with Beakram right here. Three, four, five, and six. Very unfortunate, uh, but actually I do have a different route. So we've got attach for turn here, and then I can retreat. Uh, we did not get the... Electro power, but we did get the double E switch. So we're going to be able to go up to this bad boy here and full blitz for knockout. So still very explosive turn. Ooh, still a very explosive turn, which is good. But uh, I think that Brady is probably going to be able to capitalize here with yes. this sand. Uh, we actually kind of more or less have to load onto the active to have any chance in this game. That is my first knockout. Feels bad. So, yeah, I'm going to Flame Crystal, get these energy back. You got game here, Brady? I do have game. Oh, yeah. Yes. Show so, it, Brady. Let's see it. Okay, so I got four energy in hand. Uh, I'm going to go Fiery Flint and get a whole bunch of energy. Oh, yeah. And I'll be able to water. Yeah. Oh, six. So I'll have three on him and then get rid of, like, oh, like yeah. eight or so. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go to game three, Brady. Sure. And I'll, uh, I'll go first. So that was very good. I think giving that deck just a couple of turns to stabilize was way too bad. Right. And you being able to kind of spread your energy around made it so that pretty much had no win uh, condition. So I think I learned from my mistake there. I can't really bench that Lele at all. Right. That yeah. just was very bad. <laughs> um, if I don't get the turn one, turn two full blitz with this deck, I think I'm uh, probably just going to get swallowed up there too quickly. So good stuff. We did see the Dedene still putting in work, though. Right. Uh, brings a lot to the deck as far as explosiveness. So do like that and we were able to whoop up a full blitz out of nowhere so that's cool as well and something that the deck strives to do but definitely uh, yeah if you uh, if you can not get your hands let loose like oh my gosh that was insane you just had everything to do 250 damage again in that hand so yeah, yeah as long as this, you can develop like any sort of hand size you'll have some pieces to make something happen <laughs> right for sure so I think I've seen that now and uh, <laughs> thoroughly afraid of that deck. And uh, now I need to make sure that I keep bench space for Let Loose. I have to make sure that I keep bench space for my Tapu Koko Prism Star as well and to Dene. This is like a new, uh, new kind of concept of bench management with this deck that I haven't quite gotten used to yet. One, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, it's like a very good hand for me. So we'll go. Set our six prizes out, and best of luck, Brady. See how we do. Start with the ROM, and I'm going to draw for turn. This, uh, this hand is looking pretty strong here. So I'm going to nest ball, grab myself the Zera Aura, and then Ultra Ball. And I'm going to check my deck real quick and make sure that there's nothing crazy that I am missing as far as prize cards go. It looks like we got the Dene. That is someone that we really want. And I guess, do I have to be afraid of you like seriously getting a turn one knockout on my Picaram? <laughs> that is a question that I have. Do I really gotta worry about that? I think I'm gonna go with Zapdos just to uh, get a Zapdos into play. Seems fine. And then we're gonna get a big Lily turn here, which is amazing. I suited up an expanded peek around deck the other day on stream. We didn't have Lily. It just felt so bad, right? <laughs> Going turn one, and I was like, you mean I have to Juniper this hand? 
Little Dance of the Ancients, and I got the multi switch to throw an energy up on my Picaram, and then we're going to Lily for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, six, seven, eight. All right, so we are just going to attach for turn and let him loose, Brady. That is Picaram doing what it was built to do. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right here. So. I'm going to see if your deck can withstand the Let Loose. I'm feeling much more confident that you might not get a turn one attack after the Let Loose. We're going to hope that that's the case. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> How is uh, the hand looking pre-Let Loose, though? Um, not that good. I had pokey gear, and that was you know, what I was making on. Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and promote the Zapdos, just in case anything crazy happens. Um, and then just... Uh, Actually, let's promote the Marshadow. All right, and then just pass to you. Sure. All right, so that was a fortunate top deck. Okay. Um, so I got Heat Factory there. I'll play it. Sure. Two and three. Yep. And then I'm going to Fiery Flint away those guys. Very good. So just trying to get as much energy into my hand. Just that's what you got to do with this deck. For sure. <laughs> right. Four there, and I also have a nest ball that I'm gonna play. Excellent. And get another card. Sure. Um, yeah. So I have a water in my hand, so I'll be able to accelerate this energy. Don't really. Need, don't really know if I want to knock out the marsh shadow. We might just go for the first attack. Yeah. And like set up both guys. I think that's probably the best play. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the two here. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And then draw three. Yep. And then I actually drew Beast Energy, so I could knock him out with the first attack. But that seems a little, uh, a little greedy. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Beast Energy's math actually matters. Yeah, actually, else. I guess that's true. Yeah. So I think you yeah, go I guess for Zapdos it. Zapdos is the only other instance where it makes any kind of difference. But yeah, yeah. I think you just go for sure. it. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah. Blazer. Cool. Yeah, so I'm going to Blazer. Not. Nice. All right, so, so 40. Right? 40, yeah, 40 damage. All right. I'm going to draw for turn here, see what we got. Uh, I'm going to counter that. Stadium there, and then I've got a lightning energy, so I'm going to be able to retreat. And we've got a guaranteed full blitz here, but I'm just going to Cynthia and draw some cards. I could have used the Dedenne GX to dig for Guzma there, but like uh, I'm not so sure. I think maybe we end up using Zapdos here to take a knockout if I can find double E power. It's a possibility that, or we're just going to end up full blitzing. So we'll draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm feeling like maybe I have to go for it. Or is that like too aggressive of me? I'm not sure. I would hate to just promote this Picaram and get eaten alive <laughs> by your Blacephalon. So let's go E power and just go for it. Dead A change. Discard these and draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We were able to find the second E power. And also, um, let's see, let's just retreat into Zapdos. And I think I also want to, um, I was going to say energy switch, but I'll probably save the energy switch. Could be good. Just to save the energy on my Zapdos, I don't need it there now. And if it gets knocked out, then I'm going to feel like I kind of lost one that maybe I didn't need to lose. However, for my energy switch to my Picaram, you just have Guzma and, like, the stones over there. That would be <laughs> insane. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You know, it would take a lot. You have a four-card hand? I have a five-card hand. Five-card hand. It would take a lot. This only plays two Guzma, and you see one right here. So. All right. So I'm thinking <laughs> that that probably isn't happening. So yeah. I'm going to comfortably just use this energy switch yeah. here and Thunder's just, Assault for knockout. Sure. I'm pretty okay with that, and then feeling pretty good about my board state here. Okay. Um, all right, so first thing I'm going to do yep. is get this guy back so I don't lose on the next turn. Yeah, very <laughs> good. And then we're going to... Uh, I'm just going to Fiery Flint those away. Yep. Get four more energy into my hand. Field blower doesn't really do anything in this matchup. Like if you put Viridian out, I'm cool with that. And yeah. can't get her anything else that really matters. Like I don't care if you have a choice spent. <laughs> right. What's the stadium count in that list? Uh one heat factory, two ultra space. Okay. 
So that's pretty good. Help you get your basics out into play. Right. Definitely. And I'm I'm fully scared of your deck now. Like this is like pretty frightening, not gonna lie. <laughs> Placephalons can just really go from zero to sixty. Fiery flints, nuts. So I'll attach there. Yep. And then I will let's see, I gotta get three. I'm gonna energy retrieval first. Just uh I think I have two in hand. Yes, I do. Oh, I have four in here in the back. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'll get two back. Sure. Handful then, of fire energy. Right. Yep. And then I'll flame ball circuits three. three away. Okay. So my Thunder Mountain Prism Star gets to stick, so actually I have like a decent chance of uh actually just I just win the game. I think no, actually I do need an energy switch. Okay. So we'll see if we can find it. Um because I'm just gonna attach here. Sure. Go to four. And if I can just find the cards I need, we'll go Ultra Ball away the Fidget Spinner and the Guzma. And I'm going to get myself probably uh, my, my other Let Loose is in here. Um, so I'm wondering if I think to give myself the highest probability of drawing out of this, uh, drawing the other energy switch, I think I actually grabbed a Let Loose here, which is like kind of a weird play, but uh, Lillying for five with a guaranteed draw four more in hand, I think is better than just Lily for six. So I'll play the peak around down, and we're just going to Lily for five. I have four energy now, Thunder Mountain, if I hit it here, one, two, three, four, five, and sure enough, we do have the energy switch, so we're okay. just going to go Tag Bolt for game. Yep, good game. That's it, yeah. So... What do you think, Brady? Yeah, I mean, sometimes this deck is probably just going to stall out, and your deck will just be too fast for it, and that yeah. showed in game one and three. So. Yeah, right, yeah. right. But uh, we saw in game two, if I stall out at all, or right. any deck stalls out, yeah. then uh, Flame Ball Circus <laughs> is uh, definitely no joke. Yeah. So thank you for playing with me, Brady. Uh, and thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to check out FullGripGames.com for Unbroken Bonds pre-orders, which are posted now. I know Brady's already made a couple pre-orders. Yes, I have. <laughs> and I have also uh, put in uh, some requests for some things. So very excited about Unbroken Bonds. I think it is a totally revolutionary set. Very exciting uh, to see what kind of decks will come out of the woodwork. So... Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Full Grip Games for Unbroken Bonds pre-orders. And, of course, the Etsy Store Patreon stuff in the description below. And my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jim. Take it easy. Peace.